this video, I'm going to go over the tobacco pipes that I've come across. The uh, first one, and I've, I've seen these in drug stores a lot. Um, when I first started seeing them, was really into them because I actually, you know, thought they were pear wood, you know, the cheap wooden uh, pipes that crack on you when you use them. You know, they look real nice and, and, and not exactly premium, but just nice looking pipes, but they're really light. Um, when I first started seeing them, you know, I just automatically assumed they were that those cheap pair of wood pipes that look really good but don't last when you try to use them. After doing some research recently, I don't know if they always did it, but I saw that it said premium briar. So they got my attention a little bit more. I know we have a couple people in the YTPC that like using them and that speak highly of them. Then there's others who, you know, prefer not to use them because they, you know, like different quality. Me, myself, it's, it's, as long as it's made of briar, made of nice, strong briar, and doesn't seem like it's going to be, you know, something that's going to crack when you're using it, I'm all for it. And it smokes good, the holes are drilled properly, you know, I don't have a problem with it. But of course, when it comes down to aesthetics overall, you know, me having an artist's eye, I'm going to have favorites. And this particular one, I ended up getting a Dr. Grabo. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with from the drug stores um, Grand Duke and the bull, bulldog shape um, I kind of like the bulldog shape because they tend to have thicker walls just an interesting you know look with them having the you know diamond or squared shank you know and, you know this one has, I guess you could call it traditional bit on it, you know, with the pretty nice button, not too bad. You know, the hole on it is drilled a little off, but you know, nothing to really scream or complain about. This particular Dr. Gray Bowl, it did have a filter in there that I did use and um, you know, I'm not really into filters because it seems like it takes away from the flavor even though it's, it's probably allowing you to smoke it cooler. I have noticed in the past with other pipes like Savinelli's and such with my Big Ben that the filter tends to take away some of the flavor even though you do see a lot of the moisture that it prevents from getting to you when you're smoking your tobacco pipe. This one, after I used that one, I threw it out, and I haven't used it since I got rid of that filter and cleaned the pipe. This one wasn't a bad smoking pipe, you know, especially for anybody that's a beginner. You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to grab one of these because I think it was like 30 bucks or so at Walgreens. That particular Walgreens had the biggest variety I've ever seen in the Grand Dukes. They had different shapes. And all of them were about this grade, and you know, for a $30 pipe, you know, it's not going to be perfect. You know, it's got real good grain, but it also, you know, for those of you who have trained eyes for these pipes, you'll notice little dark spots on here where they filled in the wood, where maybe it was uh, soft or, you know, some type of imperfection. There's one there, right in there. And there's a couple of the dark spots going around where you can see that they filled in imperfections you know a couple different areas on here so you know for 30 bucks you can't expect it to be perfect but like i said four to 30 bucks this is a good pipe it's got nice thick walls doesn't really get hot like that on you but like i said i've only smoked it when they had the filter that came with it it was a paper filter three millimeter if i remember correctly you know wasn't a bad smoke at all i actually you know enjoyed some tobacco with it not a bad pipe, you know, pretty decent wood grain on it, you know, for what it's worth. And like I said, thick walls, you know, I don't really, not really into the smooth finishes anymore, but this does have the little designs they engraved into it that kind of gives it a little bit, you know, of a grip to it. Not much, you know, but does give it a little more of a grippiness to it. The size of it is just kind of long for my taste. I, I, I 
come to realize over the years that I like girthy, shorter pipe. Yeah, not a bad pipe, Grand Duke. By Dr. Graybo, my first one. And um, as you can see, you kind of see my shirt showing through right here on the stem, which lets you know that it's not very flush, you know, like it should be when you design a stem to go into a shank. And that's something I've tried to see if that was a user error thing for putting it on. It just always opens up on the bottom no matter what you do. So, like I said, not going to be perfect for $30. But for smoking some tobacco or enjoying some tobacco, not bad at all. Not a bad deal. All right, that's that Dr. Great Bow. I'm not sure if anybody can catch on to what this is just for me pulling it out because this is not a very uncommon shape. But I'm pretty sure those of you who are familiar and seasoned in tobacco pipes have a good idea what this is and will probably have it in the ballpark. But this is... The Victoria, not to be confused with Victoria, Victoria, V I T T, Toria. And that is a Rossi Italian pipe. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was inexpensive as I wasn't looking into getting a pipe, just went to get some tobacco. And um, as a lot of the Rossi pipes come, that are seconds to the Savinelli shapes. Uh, this one has that dark rusticated finish that it looks like black, but I believe it's some type of brown stain, like a dark brown stain. As you can see on this part, you can see browns in it. But when it's on an unsmooth surface, it looks like black. Um, pretty decent walls on it. A nice bend to the stem. Also got that kind of smooth triangular shape on the shank and stem. That bulldog shape, which, you know, like I said, I, I tend to like the bulldog shapes. You know, pretty decent pipe. Smokes okay. It doesn't smoke all the way down, which, you know, most uh, seasoned pipe tobacco enthusiasts and uh, indulgers don't really smoke that last little bit knowing that that's where most of your char and everything is going to be with those ashes you can tell the difference between just not wanting to take in that and where the actual pipe just isn't burning down to that point and normally that is caused first thing that i don't have enough light for you to be able to see in there but normally you're getting that because the drill hole, the draft hole that goes through the stem into the shank is hitting higher than the actual bottom of the chamber or the bowl, the inner bowl. So what happens is when you have that loaded up and you get down to where that draft hole is now above the tobacco because the bottom of the chamber is really low you're not able to burn that tobacco and that moisture and everything that, that normally would accumulate on the bottom is definitely going to be in there but your tobacco is not going to be uh burning in order for you to be able to take it in that's the only really thing that you know wasn't too favorable with this pipe with the rossi vittoria but uh overall feels really good in the hand a little bit smaller than what i like to feel in my hand but it is light for those of you who like to clench. As I run out of softy bits, I've chosen this one and the, <laughs> this one, the Dr. Grave Old Grand Duke to go without them because, um, you know, it's not really gonna bother me if these start getting clench marks on them. And I don't think I'll be using them that often anyway with me having so many tobacco pipes that I'd be doing it enough where they get so many teeth marks on it to where it would really bother me. So this one being one that, you know, when the lighter it is, the less likely you are to really chew up, you know, 
uh, that stem on there and that, that button by clenching it. So, okay. Not really heavy at all. I wouldn't say it's super light. It does have weight to it because it's made pretty thick and it's some really good briar. Normally, for those of you not familiar with the Rossi brand, the Rossi brand is pretty much a secondary outlet of the Sabinelli company. The ones that are not as perfect as they would like to be, but are still usable, they put them out as Rossi's. And that's what you get with the Rossi's. Some pretty decent pipes. Now, I haven't come across one yet that was like something I said I would never use again or that I would jump. So, you know, don't knock the Rossi brand. That's, that's made by the same people as Sabinelli right in Italy. You can find shapes and finishes that are identical to the Sabinelli's that you probably would like but don't want to spend that much on. I had him look in the catalog and pull up for me the Italian makers and what I had him looking for me for were stubbies or nose warmers because I don't have any. I have one that I modified which is my big bend. You know the stem which is too long for the light, the lightness of it and the shape of it in my opinion and I ended up you know chopping down the stem and bending it to make it a nose warmer and it smokes very well with or without the filter um, and I enjoy it but it has thin walls really smooth finish so you know it can get warm certain aromatic tobaccos so being that I was looking in the catalog they had pretty much everything that you would want um, I had them look in and um, of course we ended up staying in Sabinelli a little bit longer Sabinelli section because of all of the different shapes and models that Sabinelli has it's just a plethora of beautiful pipes and uh, shapes I ended up um, ordering this particular pipe and was very excited to see it in person because it was even more beautiful in person as you can see not the average shape, not the average length. And once again, you're seeing that bulldog or bull pup, as they tend to call these, because this is an actual nose warmer from Savinelli. Beautiful stem on it rusticated pretty decent wall length uh, thickness on it and I don't know if you're all able to see it here but right here let's see if I can get it to focus here that's the Savinelli La Corta 510C And a lot shorter than all of my other pipes. As you see here, side by side of the Dr. Graybull. This bowl actually is a little bit wider. These walls probably a little thicker. But the length big difference. And that's exactly what I like. Comparison to the Rossi Vittoria, which is actually a little bit more similar, because as you can see, they've got both that similar rustication. There you go. Now, with this being bent, it will seem like it's not as long, but it's a longer stem. But as you can see, in those shapes. In that finish, 
they look very similar because they're made by the same people folks no difference same exact company look at that now I know I wear prescription glasses but from what I'm looking at here those look practically uh, identical in size and I'm referring to the chamber and the thickness of the walls is going to be a little bit thicker on this one because of this not being a complete bulldog As you can see they made it a bulldog after having an apple shape very beautiful pipe and not very expensive at all as you can see when that light hits it very beautiful acrylic and if i'm not mistaken i believe they call call that the tortoise um that design on the stem i have seen it called the tortoise on some of their um their their lines because they're looking like a tortoise or a box turtle shell but very good pipe smokes very well very light clenching it and i haven't put a softy bit on this one just because with the length of the stem being so short me putting a softy bit on it i think wouldn't do it justice at all it would take away from that beautiful stem and i've used it probably two or three times now i'm not getting any tooth marks on that acrylic at all still shiny and smooth so I don't have to clinch hard because it's not very heavy. With it being a nose warmer, bull pup. Anybody who wants to get that, it's a very enjoyable pipe, especially for anybody who likes the smaller, you know, pipes that are not too light. They have a uh, actual line that's smaller than this. I can't think of the name at the moment, but what I didn't like about that line was that the stems were in like only came in primary colors and they looked like a plastic and the shape of them was almost like a balloon or something was on there like rubber rubber so I'm pretty sure that's not what it was but I just didn't like the way it looked it had a real big rim going around where the stem and the shank met and I just didn't like how it looked. It looked, looked like something a kid would be playing with. These look very, you know, classic. They're very classic looks, in my opinion. Very nice looking pipe. Beautiful. Light, weight. Clench with no problem. I and mean, it's not like you put any force on it when you're clenching to hold it in. Smokes great. This one. comes with that plastic insert that's molded into the acrylic. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is brass that you're getting on there. Let me put this back on here the right way. Yes, uh, brass going around here and right here with the Sabinelli symbol. So just a really, you know, premium looking pipe there you know and one thing I did notice with this being a Savinelli is that it seems to have like a little notch if you look right there on the rim or the top of it there's a little divot there I don't know if that was something that they missed in the final decision to push this through the line or if it's something they just knew wasn't going to be something that affected the overall aesthetics of the pipe. Or if that was something that happened during sandblasting. But I did notice that on this side of another. You can see it there as I put it up in front of my cheeks. Using my cheek as a background. You can see it right here. There's a little divot. But um, doesn't hurt the pipe at all. Only somebody who's very observant 
would notice that. And I am a very observant person. I do tend to scan things very well. This is why I normally like to buy pipes in person, but being that I've never come across these in any tobacco, tobacco shop and had to order about out of a catalog, I must say I'm very happy with this order. Very first pipe I've had to order. There was another one that was in this same area with the Lacortas that I saw that I would like to get. Hope y'all enjoyed these recent acquisitions. Savinelli Lacorta, Rossi Vittoria, the Grand Duke. I'm not even going to deny it. I've got them going in order by my favorite to my least favorite. I'll let you figure out what direction that goes in. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all be safe out there with this stuff that's going on with these, this virus. Uh, we never know exactly what's going on when it comes to the government, but let's just be mindful, be diligent in doing your own research and just just stay, stay protected, stay protected. With all that said, peace and blessings, Jack Jasmine.